Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and right now I'm going to teach you how to build the British Railways Mark 1. And this is a railway carriage, and uh, the color scheme that I used was the crimson and green one, and it's actually the same one from the island of Sodor. I think Gordon pulls this, and it's used on the express line. And uh, the secret German, he wanted me to make it so that I have like uh, additional rolling stock for the Flying Scotsman to pull. And yeah, although I I did see like a bunch of variations of it, this is the one that I did. So uh, let's get started. So first off, let's take gray wool. Just put that two blocks above the tracks, uh, three blocks wide, and uh, 29 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And uh, fill in the rest in. Alright. So after we fill that in, uh, let's add the wheels underneath. So we're going to add the hoppers down here, just like one block away from this edge. So it's just two hoppers per wheel. Skip one, two more hoppers, and do this on both sides and also the back as well and I know some people they don't like when I use hoppers but that's just the way I've been doing trains forever and in the middle just fill it in with this stone brick slab alright so the next thing we're going to do is take stone brick slab just add three to this edge making a ledge and add one in the middle and that's going to be for the coupling do the same thing on the other side and once we're done with that we'll, let's take a cobblestone wall just add three blocks on top of each other make two of them and uh, cover it up with a uh, stone brick slab on top and that's going to be our gangway and just repeat that on the other end so once we're done with the gangways let's actually add uh, the buffers, so we're going to take a uh, piston, just add it to the side over here. And also, let's add a lever just to pull it down. Let me see. So just put it in front of the hoppers, and you can pull it out, and now we have uh, sort of the buffers. Now let's repeat that on this part. Alright, so after we're done with that, let's actually take stone brick uh, slab. Uh, you want to go over here, uh, skip two from the hoppers, and just add it in the middle, I believe. So we're just going to add stone brick slab until we reach uh, two spaces between that and the hoppers on the other side. So after we do that, let's take stonework slab just line up the sides of it and let's, let's do the other side and then this is where you're gonna place um, gray wool there's like this little box uh, we're gonna place that I have no idea so it's like four so four four of these slabs and then two gray wool so just count four slabs then right here is where it's gonna stick out and drop down so we're gonna add uh, slabs underneath that and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but uh, kinda in a reverse direction so right here so count four one two three four and then the next two will stick out and drop down all right, so next let's add uh, the nice uh, crimson red uh, stripe that goes along the coach. Let's go across like that, right above. Okay, now nah, we just leave the piston alone. And let's do this side. <clears throat> All right, so after we do that, let's take uh, gray wool and add uh, the end of the car so 
we're just gonna fill this wall in. It's gonna be like three blocks tall. But leave a gap for the doorway. And then we're gonna add three more blocks on this part. And do the same thing on this side. So just try to make it three blocks tall. But leave a one by two gap for the doorway. And then just add three on top. And let's connect the roof. So we're just gonna fill this in with gray wool. Going all the way to the back. Now we're just uh, finishing up the roof. And we're gonna actually cap it off. Uh, you could leave it like this, a gray wool, but what I did and I seen some pictures of them doing is having like a light gray color on top. So we're gonna take light gray carpet, just add that right on top of this part. But if you want to have it uh, just gray like that's totally fine. I guess like sometimes it just turns a little dirty. So the color might not be as bright. I don't know, there's like lots of variations of it since it's kind of like a family of railway carriages. And there's not really a specific model and even just this crimson and cream model, there's a bunch of variations. So after we do that, let's take uh, stone brick stairs and add that to the sides of the roof. Like so. Doing the reverse end. And once we're done with that, let's take uh, iron door. And we're going to actually add real doors to the gangway parts, but not to the part where you can actually get inside. So the reason why I did this, because then if I added a door here, it'll, it'll like mess up the stripes, so I don't want that. But if you do want to make it functional, I would. But there's no interior on this anyway, so it doesn't really matter that you can't get in. So what we're going to do is the same thing on both sides. So it's not going to be really complex like some other coaches. So first off, it's like an upside down L shape. Then we're going to skip this, uh, just add a column. Then skip a 2x2. Two and the windows, these big windows are just going to be 2x2, two two. so then we're just going to have two of these 2x2 two two windows, and then there's going to be a doorway, so kind of make this an end shape. And then it's going to be uh, four more 2x2 two two windows. So just continue that. And I'm not even sure if this is accurate. Because I know in Thomas Friends they have uh, <laughs> they have asymmetrical uh, detailing for the windows, and we're just gonna have this upside down L again, but facing the other way, and we're just gonna be filling in the gaps with the black stained glass. But I noticed in uh, for Pocket Edition, there's some people who make <laughs> my builds and they just use regular glass because they don't have stained glass. Which is pretty unfortunate, but oh well. Yeah, we're just filling it in. Alright, that should be the last window. And that's basically how you make the British Wearways Mark 1. I. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.